this one's gonna make you think a little bit what have you learned over the years with everything you know now if you had to start from the bottom as a single individual with no family just you what strategy would you execute to get back to stability and elevate like if you had to start from the bottom based off what we know now at 40 with no money you just got to start over like what would you do because you know what people when i seen i think about that when i was asking you about uh can we record at our house i was thinking like what would we talk to them about but this is some stuff i would tell them like get them to think about like just because you at the bottom they don't mean it's over but you yeah. just got to have a strategy and kind of execute that thing the best of what you know you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. so what y'all think yeah, like, uh, you know, you're starting over at 40 or just, you like, you're starting over, like, back in time? First, you start on, like, you can just go back in time. Like, say, if you, you know what I'm saying, like, you 22 and something happened, you just start, you just, and, and something, it's bad stuff happened, you had to start from the bottom again, you know what I'm saying? So, you know what I mean? Starting um, over, what would like, you do? the bottom, um, like, you know, you had a fresh start, uh, you know, uh, yeah. really eliminate yeah. unnecessarily debt. Uh, you can control your spending better. Uh, like when you're yeah. like when you're like 40 or 50 starting over from the bottom uh you don't get to clear your credit history you don't get to uh say these bad decisions didn't happen a lot of bad decisions right. follow you so going back with that yeah. knowledge uh try not to make those bad decisions uh try to keep those skeletons out of the closet uh debt school be more efficient with school a lot of school debt because you know comes uh on your curiosity phase, am I interested in this class? Maybe I can take ballroom dancing. You take a lot of unnecessary classes uh, mm-hmm. that don't uh, go into your uh, major or your field of study. Uh, right. Definitely do that. Be more specific and precise with this and focus right. with the skills that I'm wanting mm-hmm. to acquire. I'm going to college for a reason, or I'm going to trade school for a reason. I'm uh, going yeah. to truck driving school for a reason to, to obtain this skill or this certification. Um, yeah. you, know, you know, like I said, like the first thing, I, you know, control my debt, uh, unnecessary mm-hmm. credit cards, I like, be efficient with, uh, you know, student loans. Um, knowing if I had the knowledge, I would know that like, living small right now could uh, yeah. contribute to me living big later. I don't have to stunt. And I can, like, I'm still hard, I'm still kicking, but compartmentalize that, you know what I mean? There's some little snack at the end. Uh, that wouldn't be um, two thirds of my plate, wouldn't be trying to live yeah. my best life at 22, like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I did, like, we did, you know what I mean? Um, and yeah. I still do that because I know that that's needed. That decompression time, yeah. and that kicking it and partying, you need that. You need a social life, you need that. Uh, but I would definitely be, it would be uh, more control. Yeah. You know yeah. I mean? So yeah. I got my night that I'm gonna go out, you know what I mean? Every two weeks, mm-hmm. I got this night. You know, I'm yeah. gonna go out mm-hmm. this night and I'm gonna do all that. And then I'm gonna go back mm-hmm. to the kind of grind. Uh, you know, make better choices with eating, things like that. Uh, Boy, for real. Uh, just a lot of that stuff, you know what I mean? Uh, start taking a uh, bro game a little bit earlier, you know what I mean? So, uh, <laughs> I get that Dion. If I had the money, get that Dion, the hair transplant like Dion got. Uh, prime time, I get one of those. That must be the money. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so, yeah, that uh, is for real. That's true. You know what you I got, mean, Bill? And I started doing like the taking baths different. You know what I mean? I would just make sure uh, I use a washcloth every time and wash my feet and wash my legs. So I, I normally don't wash my legs. I lift up water and the soap flow <laughs> down. I would just start washing mm-hmm. uh, my legs and my feet because my knees don't look good. Uh, so your legs knees. like crappie, crappie scales? So your legs yeah. are like crappie yeah. scales? <laughs> so, <laughs> I, gotta so the brain, so you know, I, mean, uh, I would definitely oh, start man. washing my legs more. So. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I agree. I think the biggest thing I do is control that spending, man. Because, man, I done blew so much money. You be like, dang, I spent how much? Especially when I look look now and I be like, dang, man, I spent how much on these shoes? I done spent about, I know I done spent probably about $60,000 shoes throughout yeah. from the 20s. Yeah. Yeah. You be posting them Jordans. You was posting them Jordans a lot. Got them. Yeah, you realize I spent it. <laughs> hey, but I, you know, you, that's one thing yeah. about them. You can always resell them. But I was like, man, I'm getting them, and I was just getting yeah. 
like yeah like and also i'd say um i don't have no you know college debt or anything like that but i would have took the trade that i was in i would have took it more serious the other one that's one of the biggest things right now that i would say control your spending you know if you're gonna go to school i do a trade of something that's free and less you know less expensive or something like that and and shit listen to old heads when they tell you tell you something for the long haul you look up it'd be 25 years later yeah you ain't got as much time you think you get mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. what about you mike oh oh give me one second i'm tripping i think he's tripping there we go. Let me go. It's right over here. I hit the wrong, wrong button. Myself. Yeah, I hit the wrong button. Can, you, can y'all hear me? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. So I'm I don't what and then I'm gonna say I'm gonna explain, I'm gonna give you a story like how why I thought about this. Uh when I worked at like uh when I before I started working in like hospital and stuff, I used to work at, at the dealership crane. It was on when it was on baseline. Yeah. Was it baseline? No, no not uh, baseline, university. but uh, uh university, yeah, university, university yeah. right? And uh, it was a bunch of it was a bunch of guys they used to come there and they was uh getting out of jail they was doing work release mm-hmm. and um you don't understand what start from the bottom is till you actually see it I guess that's what I'm trying to say right mm-hmm. so because I was talking to my wife about this when you start from the bottom you get out of jail um you you're not gonna buy a house you probably can't even get an apartment because your record is crazy mm-hmm. man so. They have to stay at those little crazy uh, motel situations where you have to pay weekly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I told her, like, the first thing you got to do is secure you some kind of job. You know what I'm saying? Some kind of job. Whoever will give you opportunity, you know what I'm saying? That you can get on. And then, and that's why I got the the levels on here. Um, we can actually delve on this a little bit more if we want to. But getting, to, getting some kind of income source in to get to that point where you can be stable because like I said, you're not going to be staying at a house unless you got a family member or something, but you kind of want your own place, but you're probably going to be staying at a weekly. Yeah, you're probably going to be staying at a weekly, you know, and you don't want to stay there for a long time just to get on your, till you get on your feet, you know what I'm saying? And can, you know, get an apartment or something like that. But, you know, dude, you know, they used to call it the, I forgot what they used to call over there on off 65th. Back there, they didn't change the name so many times, though. It's that little motel right off the off the service road. Man, there's a lot of dudes that stayed over there. It's like oh, hundred dollars yeah. a week or something like that. They would get a job to pay them every week. Yeah, yeah, they would get a job. They get a job to pay them every week, and then uh, they would stay over there. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. But you get to that point of stability now. You gotta start looking at you know. That's why you said, I know a lot of dudes who do, uh, like I said, they was doing the lawn thing, you know, something that's easy to get into that you can do on the side plus work. So you can, you know, start making the extra money to build up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Then you start getting to that stability point. Now you got some money saved up and you can start looking at like an apartment. You can put the down payment on an apartment in the house. You can get out of the, you know, weekly, you know, living situation and stuff like that. Cause like I say, living in those, tell them, living in those weekly places, you know, Jack's Motel and them little things off the freeway, like on 65th over there by Exxon and stuff, you know what I'm saying? Over there by the yeah. the, uh, the mines and all that. Dude, that's a whole nother level of living, man. You know, you gotta get out of there as quick as you can, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, Cause it be, everything goes down at them places, man. You gotta be careful like that. <laughs> But, you know, finding that little side hustle, man, like say, you know, you, you save up enough to get you a lawnmower and a weed eater, you know what I'm saying? You go around and cut yards plus work at the same time, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You got to be creative to get out of that, you know what I'm saying, to kind of move up. And that's what I'm saying, like, we, like we went to um, our house. That's something I would tell the younger people, like, your advantage is you have the time to be creative and make a strategy on how to get out from the bottom instead of just saying, I'm at the bottom and I'm stuck. You know what I'm saying? Cause you're not stuck. You can get out, but you just have to be creative in your thinking to get out. And yeah, then once you start making that money, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead Jay, what you no, no, I mean, I know, right? I'm gonna elevate peace. Um, this is, we all know, this is easier said than done. Uh, oh, for sure, yeah. We all say, sure. well, if you got a plan, you can do this, and you just keep believing, and you hustle, and you can get this done. It was a millionaire, gave up kind of like his all his money. Uh, they took his phone, 
and he had like they gave him like six hundred dollars or something like that. And he says, uh, yeah. "The struggle is all hype. Uh, I can be a millionaire again in less than a year." Hmm. And he just went out on this uh, little experiment to show he can make a million dollars. It's easy. Uh, you know, he he quit because of health reasons. Uh, like you know, I think. Yeah. Two months in. Yeah. You know what I mean. But you know so, who they didn't do that with? You know who they didn't do that with? Somebody that look like us. <laughs> Go out there and try that. Let me take all your money away from me. Give you a cell phone and seven hundred dollars. You can't even be a millionaire again. Yeah, and then like take a little long. He got a, and he was able to get a roommate. He like rented a room. Uh, yeah. Like, well, you know, some people can rent a room. Some people don't look a certain way. You know what I mean? You're not going to be my roommate. He's trying to, it's know, just too much liability, man. I, I man, when you <laughs> roommate, it's just a liability, man. If you're somebody you don't know, you don't know what dude doing, what he got going on, man. <laughs> it's just crazy, man. I was like, well, I'm gonna sell yeah. stuff on Facebook Marketplace, and I'm gonna start a business and this and that. And all those plans that he had, I mean, he had done it before. Yeah. You know right. what I mean? Self-made millionaire, and he couldn't do it. Uh, yeah. And a lot of these uh, other gurus said they were they would do it, and they tried to try. Uh, I think. There was another movie there. He tried it. There was a little famous one. Yeah. He tried it. I'm gonna buy a truck and I'm gonna flip it and do this and then do that. Uh, a couple months. Please come give me. <laughs> yeah, and I think too, like once you get to that point of stability, like we was talking about, you you working and then you got a side hustle going. Um, you think about elevate. Now it's time to look into something that can really elevate you, whether it's apprenticeship, whether it's education or something that could give you something that you can elevate off of. Um, that's why, you know, it's important to do your research. There's so much information out there now. I mean, yeah. whether it's um, you just getting a certificate to start out with, then you build on that, or, you know, just an apprenticeship. We're gonna talk about that on the next slide. I'm gonna pick one. But there's a lot of ways to elevate. You just gotta, it's a lot of businesses that you can start with low barrier to entry. You just gotta do the research and yeah. see what they want you to have. I mean, some stuff ain't even regulated. You just got to do the research, you know. Um, like I say, cutting grass. I know you got to get a business license, but I don't know if you got to, you don't have to start out with one, but that's what they want nah. you to have. But, you know, if, you, if you're savvy about your business, you know, you can do stuff yeah. out, under the radar, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. And I, I say one thing, man, like once you got that plan, you you really have to stick to it. and Yeah, the commitment. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Because it's easy to get sidetracked. Cause once that money starts flowing, it's gonna flow. <laughs> yeah, man. For real. And the next slide. 